Today we're gonna answer the question, why do fighters make noises when they punch? And basically they do this to prepare for impact, both when they're hitting their impact and the impact towards them. So obviously fighters are making noises to exhale all the air inside their body. At the same time, when they're doing this, they're cleaning up all the air so you don't get the air knocked out of you because if you have air in there, it's more likely for you to get knocked out with the body shot. And also by doing this, you're flexing your core so when you are getting hit, and there's no air, it still won't hurt you as much. Okay. One thing to know is actually when they're releasing the air, they're not doing it with the open mouth. They're usually pushing the air through your teeth, through not through the teeth, but through their mouth guards. So they never open their mouth and exhale the air. Usually it's closed mouth and usually kind of they're puckering the lips so you know, protect the jaw from you know their opponent because if you open your mouth to exhale all the air, you're vulnerable to uh, getting a broken jaw. It would be a giant left hook from Lopez that broke Ortiz's jaw. He could not continue at that point. And he has a point on that you guys don't really want to breathe out with an open mouth. Besides that, it also leaves your mouth dry and it gives you that nasty feeling. But most of the time when fighters are fighting, they like shh, shh, like trying to be quiet. That, that way they don't open up their mouth all the way unless like they're training because there are sometimes lips of boxers actually screaming yeah. and like when hitting the bag <laughs> like karate yeah yeah the same thing <laughs> nah, not, not like that not like that <laughs> and you guys also have to find the perfect moment on when to breathe in and with, when to breathe out. So, for example, like if you're weightlifting, most most of the time when you're weightlifting on the on the concentration, on the concentration aspect of a lift, you have to be able to like to inhale, and then when you let it go or eccent and an eccentric movement, that's when you exhale. Just so just so you won't get tired. Same thing with running. When you run, you know you breathe all the way to your to your diaphragm, and then once your diaphragm kind of gets full, like you will exhale slowly. And softly, you're you're not gonna, you know, just a simple, just so you won't get tired throughout the bout or when you're conditioning or hitting the bag or doing some type of road work. So it's simple stuff like that that will actually save you energy and won't pretty much break you down in those later rounds. Like you were saying earlier, it's also for cardio control, and you wanna to prevent fatigueness. You want fresher oxygen in your blood and in your muscles. So exhaling, fighters exhale frequently to exhale all the carbon dioxide and inhale better good oxygen for your muscles. Every single strike, striking discipline uses some sort of the hissing sound, uh, the karate, the scream, and also like you said, not, not recommended because your, your jaw is vulnerable. And yeah, and um, yeah, so that's basically it. That's kind of what our knowledge of why people hiss. And if you know, if you miss something, if we miss something that you know, uh, comment down below and that's gonna be it. Everything you need to know is down below. Our YouTube, other YouTube channels, our vlog and Spanish channel, our personal Instagram, our, our, pay, our group Instagram and all that is gonna be down below. I work so, yeah. nine to five, I get no sleep, no pain, no gain, I'm on repeat. Call me a robot, no, nah, I won't stop, I one shot, one